And this photo taken in 1957 on an Italian beach shows a police officer ticketing a young woman for wearing a bikini. Although the modern bikini as we know it today had actually been invented 10 years prior to this photograph being taken, it took society a very long time to accept it. In fact, the ideas of covering up and modesty and not exposing a thing was long the tradition associated with women and bathing. This 18th century linen bathing suit actually once belonged to Martha Washington, the wife of the first president, George Washington. Small lead weights have actually been sewn into the dress above the hem to ensure that when Martha went into water, it didn't float up. And then during the 19th century, covering up completely was still the norm, with women wearing almost full dresses with bloomers. These were usually made out of wool and would have absorbed the water and been incredibly heavy after use. Really, these were only suitable for paddling and for sort of bathing, but certainly not swimming. At the turn of the 20th century, women's swimwear became more practical. In 1912, women were permitted to participate in swimming competitions for the first time, and this drove a need for more suitable athletic swimming wear. This is Miss Annette Kellerman. She was an Australian professional swimmer who was invited to perform in front of the royal family in 1905. However, her swimsuit, which actually comprised of this one piece, was banned because it was too immodest. So she simply sewed on her stockings to the uh, swimsuit so that she was able to participate. However, when she competed again in Boston later on, she was again accused of being indecently exposed. And so you can see how it took society a long time to accept women exposing their skin. However, although she was permitted to swim in her one piece, there was a crackdown in America of women wearing similar things. In America, swimsuit police became incredibly common and they were permitted to send women home if they were wearing indecent clothes and they could also order women to actually cover up or leave. In Washington DC, it was actually legislated that women's swimming costumes could be no shorter than six inches above the knee. And here we can see a woman being measured and probably it's not going to cut the mustard. And in the 1920s, on Caney Island, undercover police men and women were tasked with patrolling the beaches and censoring women who were inappropriately attired. In some instances, women were actually arrested and taken to jail. Men were very concerned about women exposing their flesh. In Chicago, there was actually a policeman that said if they were not censoring these women, it would look like the second garden of Eden, filled with naked bodies. And yet, despite these archaic views, fashion marched continually on. By the 1930s, one pieces like these were very common, and indeed, even the two piece started to make an appearance. And yet still, this was met with great resistance. Here is a woman being ticketed again for her indecent exposure. So this is taken in 1946. This woman is being ticketed because she's not on the beach. Although people and society had accepted that maybe this was okay on the beach because she was walking to the beach, it was forbidden. Here are two more women being ticketed for exposing too much flesh. But here is a man being ticketed. This was also a thing. If a man wasn't wearing a shirt to cover up his upper half, he could be fined or ticketed. And then in 1946, the modern bikini as we know it today was created. It was created or invented by a Frenchman called Louis Reynard, and it was first debuted on this model in 1946. This was an incredibly skimpy, risque design, and it didn't take off. It had a brief sort of success in France, but by the 1950s, it was seen as very controversial. In fact, a fashion magazine called Modern Girl Magazine in 1957 stated that, this is a quote, it is hardly necessary to waste words over the so-called bikini, since it is inconceivable that any girl with tact and decency would ever wear such a thing. And as a result, it was very quickly banned from beaches and public places along the French Atlantic coastline, Spain, Italy, Portugal and Australia. 
And of course, it was um, banned in a number of US states. And if it wasn't in legislation, it was absolutely prohibited socially. The Vatican even declared it as sinful. And so this woman was wearing it on an Italian beach in the 1950s. And as a result, she got ticketed for it. But of course, fashion kept moving on. And when we had such iconic shots as this from James Bond, it became even more popular. So this is the 1962 Dr. No, and this is the actress Ursula Andress coming out of the beach. And she's got this amazing um, white bikini on, which became very, very famous. This is actually cited as one of the most famous and recognisable bikini shots of all time.